very busy time at work. That's why I haven't I haven't uploaded in a little while here. Um, one week left until the Elden Ring. Are you kidding me? Are Are you kidding me? I wanted to pre-order for a while now, but every single time I've gotten distracted by something. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I don't know why it says coming February 24th, though. It comes out midnight, but it, midnight is technically the next day. So it sh should still say coming out February 25th, right? Unless for some reason will I be, we'll be able to play it midnight. So when it's Thursday night, so in other words... Wednesday night, going into Thursday morning. I'm a little confused there. Um, I looked at the deluxe edition, and I mean, really the only thing of note is you get some kind of extra music bonus. Uh, you can listen to the music outside of the game or something. Isn't all that going to be on YouTube anyway, though? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. We couldn't add your item? Uh, okay. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll hit purchase for myself. Elden Ring. Available February 24th, 2022. Again, not sure why that doesn't say February 25th, but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording because right before I hit record, I clicked the purchase for myself just to see when my personal information, information would come up, and it's right after I hit pur purchase for myself. So, one second. And the deed is done. I hid, a little, I hid a little bit of the bottom screen just because it has the confirmation code. And although I don't think anyone can do anything with it, we're still a week out. And in case someone sees this and takes my... No one watches these videos anyway, but... <laughs> in case anyone uh, is somehow able to redeem my purchase by the confirmation code. Don't uh, risk anything, so... <sighs> yes, Steam is installed. Uh, sure, I'll open Steam. See it in my library. One sec. It, it it's actually crazy because um, Xbox players are able to pre-download their game. We're able to pre-load their game starting today, but it's technically yesterday now because it's like 3 a.m. at the moment. But yesterday, Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Um, Xbox players were able to preload the game eight days out in advance. So I was like, okay. Um, whereas Steam and PlayStation, which apparently are in sync with <laughs> what time you can preload stuff, is like the day before or something. According to Elden Ring updates, Mr. Mordecai. I didn't know that before, but interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my Steam account. See it come up. All right. And look at that, baby. Coming soon. Or better yet, cometh soon. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Is this real? Is this real? Is this real life? I mean, look at this. Look at this. One week. How is this possible? 
Honestly. Honestly. Day after day after day for the last year and a half, multiple times a day, I'm Googling Elden Ring news. Nothing. 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 Then we get that leaked, those leaked videos on March 1st of last year. Then we get the Summer Game Fest trailer. And then we get the closed network test. And then we get a bunch of stuff from Game Informer. Have not watched any of that. <sighs> Ever since the closed network test, I've watched only one other video, and that was the more Elden Ring hype video that I recorded and uploaded, where we saw a little bit of new footage, but nothing uh, that crazy at all. God damn. I can't believe it. And apparently, servers for the PC Souls games are going to be uh, offline until after Elden Ring. I'll talk more about that in my next video, or the one after that. Whichever one it is that's where I'm continuing and finishing my Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Which has been almost a month now since my last video of that. Waiting for servers to come back online before I continued, but no, they're not, so. Like I said, I'll talk more about that. It, sh it should still be down. I'm just doing it <laughs> just because. And it's still down. Wow. And it takes forever to say try again anyway. Well, anyway, I'm just baffled and shocked and uh, cannot believe that Elden Ring is one week away. Yeah, as soon as it drops, I'm going online. I'm starting it up, obviously, playing it. And for the next three days, I will be... Absolute. Well, the next month, two months, I'll be absolutely consumed with it. But I have three days off, back to back to back. So my butt's gonna hurt from all the sitting. But it is what it is. Quick game. <sighs> Something else I wanted to mention before I left. Uh, yeah, last night fired up the PS5, which I haven't fired up in months <laughs> yeah I was like let me go ahead and blow some of the dust off get the engines running but um I, I finally bought the game that I've been wanting to buy for so long which was one of the games I played growing up called the mark of Cree and its sequel the rise of the Kasai uh, and I also bought Spider-Man Miles Morales because I've been wanting to buy that for the PS5 anyway and I saw that it was on sale 40% discount at twenty nine ninety nine. I was like eh, I'll, thank you very much I'll take that but anyway I want the thing the thing with the Mark of Kree is I saw it on the PlayStation Network store on sale for like five or six dollars a while back and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna, and then I got distracted by something, I don't remember, and then I forgot to buy it immediately. And then, like, the next day or the day after that, I checked again, and it was back up to 15 bucks. And I was like, what? So then I waited, because <laughs> I, I had a bunch of other games I was playing anyway, so I wasn't in any rush to buy it. So I waited to see if it would get discounted, and I checked multiple times after that, and never got discounted again um, at all, or to that degree. So I just looked it up again last night. So it was 15 bucks. Just got it anyway. Rise of the Kasai, also 15 bucks. Got it anyway. So excited to play those again. But it'll be a while until I play them. Because obviously I'll have to get through Elden Ring. Then I'll have to get through uh, my Cinders. Dark Souls 3 Cinders mod playthrough. Then my Dark Souls 3 Convergence mod playthrough. All of the freaking different builds I wanted to do in Dark Souls 3 anyway. Um, Dark Souls 2. One other build, the Mirror Knight build. 
um, playthrough that I wanted to do. Um, but all that waits, of course, until I finish Elden Ring and then do whatever other builds and however many other playthroughs um, of Elden Ring <laughs> that I'll want to do. Because that pl first playthrough is just going to be so... It's going to be just so magical, but also it's going to be so... No one figured out all the illusory walls or, you know, any other secrets, hidden paths, other hidden paths and stuff like that. So, it's going to be so sad because I'll, I'll, be, I'll know I finished the game and I missed a lot. But hey, that's fine. That's fine. When all the walkthroughs and the gather guides come out. It's just, it's going to be, it's going to be so good to just go back. Do whatever you missed. A blind playthrough of a new Souls game. It'll be my first Souls game that I'm actually on board at launch. Like I said, no one knows all the secrets or anything, so it's just everyone's in the same boat. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. There'll be messages and stuff, but no one really figured out much yet, so. Mm. Catch you in the next video.